Oi there, how's it going? It's me, your guy Waddles, and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 15. So last episode, we set up the Seed Be Gone 3000 and got ourselves three stacks of bone meal. That's pretty nice. This field is now pretty much finished as well, which is probably a good thing, but bad if I ever want to harvest it because... It is, spoiler alert, it, it got pretty big now. Today, we're gonna switch gears and actually do an exploration episode. I've seen a lot of you guys asking for more exploration because, I mean, exploration is always fun and there's definitely a lot of the world around us that we still haven't seen. The goal today is going to be to find some new blocks to expand our block palette. It's not that I don't like the builds that we're doing, it's just that I'd like more options. More options are always good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new map and we're going to go ahead and grab the cartography table. We have our bed, we have all of the other tools that we need for exploration. Then we're going to run over here and grab today this map. We're going to go to what I think would be the south and explore. Oh. And I should probably get a boat because I know there's an ocean down to the south below us. So do we have a boat ready anywhere? I swear. Uh, yes, we do. I thought so. Now, just like in our first exploration episode, what we're going to do is we're going to move over this way until we get to the edge of this map and then start heading south. The other map that we created will be for anything that we explore that way, like further that way off of this map. I don't know if we'll end up going that way. I'd just rather be safe than sorry, you know? Okay, so I think we're just about at the border of this map. Now it's time to start heading south. Now if we get really lucky, we'll find a brand new wood type today. That would be huge. Ideally, if we're going to find any wood type, it would hopefully be dark oak wood. I feel like dark oak wood is the most useful wood that we're missing, but jungle wood would be really good as well. Finding a jungle, in fact, would be amazing, and I'd be super happy because in the, in the last season, we didn't find a jungle until episode... 50 or or maybe even a little after that i don't exactly remember anymore but yeah it, it was a long time and there's lots of cool things to check out in the jungle so if we find one of those we're definitely gonna have to stop and maybe even do a whole episode on the jungle because there's just so much in in that biome to check out now the ocean so this is what i thought was down here i i kind of didn't realize how much land we had i might have to come back to those giant mountains those things are usually pretty good for digging out sandstone and we might actually need some sandstone soon i'm thinking about incorporating sandstone into the build palette that we've been using because i mean we live right next to a desert after all and i don't usually use sandstone so i think that would be fun to try and work with but now it's time to sail. I really enjoy exploring by ocean because it's so much easier. I don't have to jump. I, I really don't even have to pay attention. I can just look away entirely. I'm not going to do that, but exploring by ocean is so, so nice. Hey, now I just realized, hey, I forgot wool. I like to bring wool when I'm exploring so I can mark things with banners. Yep, uh, big whoops there. Yep. <laughs> Uh, it's not the end of the world, but uh, I guess we're not going to mark anything unless we get into the savanna biome and start finding uh, If we start finding sheep, then then we can start marking things uh, But so far I haven't seen anything now the shipwrecks. I am well aware of this one I saw one back over right over there on that hill, but we're gonna actually skip those for now Shipwrecks have a tendency to fill up your inventory really really fast and I'm going for long-term exploration not a short-term one so We'll come back to them. The shipwrecks are usually pretty easy to spot anyway, so I'm not all that worried about it. I, if I if I miss that somehow, well, that uh, it would be pretty bad. I don't know how I would miss that shipwreck. It's pretty obvious. Sort of a random side note, I feel like it would be really cool to transform a shipwreck into a working ship again. Like, we'd find one near the ocean surface and just build it back up. I don't know. I feel like that would be really cool, and that could be a fun side base, but... Oh my gosh, another outpost. How many outposts is Minecraft going to put in this world? This is seriously crazy. Uh, we can mark that one. There's banners right on it. Um, but seriously, how, how, many, how many outposts do we need in this world? I, I feel like there's not enough. <laughs> we probably need more. Is that a floating fountain? That's definitely a floating fountain over there. Okay, I think I need to check that out. That's actually really cool looking. That looks really rare. Or is it a city? What What is that over there? Like, what is even going on in this world? 
And you know what? While we're over here, we might as well just go ahead and do this. We'll make the new map because we're on it, and then we'll expand it all the way just so we have it because then we'll have a full square of maps, which is cool. What is it for? Well, I guess it's just for show right now. Eventually, I plan on filling all of these maps into making a really cool wall or even a map building, but uh, for now, I guess we'll just have some random maps for decoration. Now, uh, what is this? Oh, oh, okay. This is uh, this is an underground or an underwater ruins, but it's spawned on th on the surface. That's actually really cool. And there's loot inside of these things. I think there should be a chest on each structure. I know there's one over there. Wow, that's actually really cool. I had to get the picture. I had to do it for the picture, but let's go ahead and loot these things. So, these structures are structures that were added in the Minecraft 1.13 update aquatic. Now, these things usually generate under the ocean, but if they generate near a beach, sometimes they'll end up being on the beach. Inside of each one of these usually is a treasure chest. Now, typically the loot inside of these things really isn't the best loot. In my opinion, the better thing is the magma blocks early on. These things are great, and uh, we wouldn't normally get our hands on these until we head into the nether, so if we can get these now, that's that's pretty cool. We could use these for like elevators going downwards and maybe even mob removal platforms, but I don't know if we really need any of those quite yet. What do we have over here? A another curse of vanishing fishing rod. Very nice. What I tell you guys, yeah, the loot here usually isn't that good. I'm gonna go ahead and take these chests though. Uh, we probably need a storage room soon, and if I can get extra chests for it, that that's definitely good news. Now, uh, here's just some better loot this time around. A curse of vanishing. Wow. It, it, what I tell you guys, these these loot, uh, this loot is. It's seriously not the best. The best thing here is maybe the magma blocks and the terracotta, actually. Terracotta is pretty cool. It's nice for building. If we could find a mesa, oh, that would be amazing. But uh, how about good this time? Okay, a gold helmet. That is not good. Not good at all. This is not what I meant. We're going to put that back, and I guess we'll keep the sand for now. But I... I think it's time to head back uh, over to there and check out the outpost. Not that that loot will be any better, but hey, we'll check it out. So, 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 Minecraft Pillager Outpost, how you doing? Hey, Pillagers, don't mind me, I'm just a visitor. Hey, gonna take these vines, thank you very much. Now we have vines, which is amazing. That's about the biggest step that we've ever made in this world, but loot, let's see the loot. Uh, hey, hey, it's not that great, but we're gonna take it anyways, and we're gonna mark it like that, and then, uh, can we escape to the water? Definitely not. Ow. <laughs> we're out. We're out. We're safe. Hey, almost. Hey, let's get out of here. This is probably... I'm probably not welcome there. It's too bad about the sheep. I'm definitely not going to stop on the land and grab those sheep. Hey, stay in the boat, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, hey, a baby sheep. That's cool. No way. Is that a mesa? Is that actually a mesa biome? Um... <gasps> Oh, that's a mesa. That's huge. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Wow. Or at least it's a mesa island, which means maybe more mesa could be beyond it. Now, hey, if you're newer to Minecraft, you know it has a badlands. Hey, I'm team mesa though, always. And these biomes are amazing for the terracotta. Terracotta is one of the best building blocks, in my opinion. The colors are just... They're pretty much perfect on it, and if we have a mesa biome near us, which we actually do, it's, I would say this is less than probably 2,000 blocks, I don't really know the base coordinates, but I know where it is, and that's pretty close, but I'm, I'm trying to get down to the bottom of this map first before we turn over there, that is huge, that's, and what what is that on the beach too? Let me guess, is that another outpost? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we got another outpost in this world. Uh, I don't think it's an outpost though, in seriousness, it's probably... I actually think that's another ocean ruin that's on the beach, because of course it would be. Uh-huh. <laughs> and wow, look at that down there. That looks... Uh, we're gonna take a detour really quick. Uh, if I'm seeing things right, uh, which is hard to tell, yes, yes, that is definitely a frozen tundra biome, which is really cool as well. If we got really lucky, we would maybe find like a frozen ocean near here for ice. We don't really have a good source of ice in this world quite yet, but wow, that's good to know. We'll have to come back down here later, and I can guarantee that once we start making nether portals, we'll be linking this thing up by portal to our base. I would love to do a rail line down here, but... I feel like that would be a little tedious. Uh, this is close, but it's not really that close. So, 
I think we'll probably skip that, but let's land over there and see what's going on over there. I bet you we'll get a, we'll probably get ourselves a new uh, Curse of Vanishing Fishing Rod, which is, I mean, I guess it's something. <laughs> Now, if these structures generate under the ocean, they should always generate with a drowned inside of them as well. So they could be a little dangerous to take on early on. Uh, hey, a buried treasure map, actually. Wow. Okay, that's really good. So I'd like to lock it so we can use it for decoration. So I don't want to look at it right now. Just, well, you know what? We'll just go ahead and look at it. <laughs> um, okay, so I think if I'm looking at things correct... It would be up over there, and judging by how the land is shaped, it's probably back by that outpost. I mean, take a look at where my crosshair is on this map. You tell me that island doesn't really look like the island near, like, the bee in Ominous Banner? I feel like that's where it's going to be. Uh, so we're not going to worry about it today, because there's pillagers kind of defending that area, but... We'll remember that and we'll take it on later. Now, uh, the rest of the loot, it's not that good. We'll take it anyways. And the magma blocks, I definitely don't want to forget those. And hey, what I tell you about the drowned? They are swarming uh, me from the surface of the ocean. We're going to go ahead and move inland a little bit so they don't come up here and get me and take a nap. All right. Wow. A mesa biome. This is amazing. And there's more over there. So it's at least somewhat sizable. This is great for this stuff right here, the terracotta. So uh, let's go ahead and actually head over to the greater mesa and talk about these biomes while we're doing that. Mesa biomes are usually a somewhat rare biome, but of course, it all depends on your seed. You could get really lucky and spawn in a mesa biome, and if that's the case, well, then you've got a lot of really cool blocks to use for your base. But at least for me, these biomes usually seem to be a bit more rare. I don't have very good luck when it comes to mesas. Now, mesas are really cool because of their land generations. I love the canyon look with the layers. That's so so cool. Now, if you can remember the underground mineshaft episode, I talked about mineshafts being a little bit different in mesa biomes, and that is definitely the case. I mean, take a look at that mineshaft. That is way, way above Y64, usually where the surface is, like, like by a lot. Now, that is really, really cool, and it looks like we have a spawner exposed to the surface, which is pretty rare. Usually, spawners are kind of tucked away, or if there's sunlight above a cave spider spawner, it won't generate, but... It looks like something went wrong there and it actually generated. This is really cool. Now these mine shafts are absolutely loaded with gold. I mean, look at that right over there. That's not normal generation. If you're ever looking for gold, like for a beacon, I definitely recommend coming over to one of these things and checking it out because I mean, seriously, the gold is everywhere. These mine shafts also use dark oak wood instead of normal oak wood for their generation. Now, uh, because the inventory is full, we're not going to be able to take too much home with us, but what I'm thinking is we'll drop off some of the stuff right here, and we'll come back to it, uh, but I'd like to poke around inside of that mine shaft a little bit and see what we have in there, because it does look pretty cool in my opinion, so I think all of that's good to stay out there, and just, just in case, we'll set our spawn right there, but mine shaft, uh, let's start with the spider spawner. Mm hmm we're close enough to activate those spider spawner, but I doubt any spiders will really be spawning because of the sunlight. Now, since we're kind of cramped on space, I'm not really worried about grabbing all of the cobwebs or even all of the rails today. I'm more so worried about the gold. We can grab a little bit of rails because I already have some in my inventory, but we're not going to go overkill on this stuff. We'll just have to remember it and come back later. I'd like to really save some space for the terracotta. Terracotta is much, much more interesting, but... Um, I, I also don't know how much space we'll have for that because we have a lot of stuff to take home with us. So we'll probably just end up coming back out here. Uh, what is that? That's a zombie. No, no clue where that would be. Let's go this way. Look at the gold inside of this thing. It's crazy, guys. I'm telling you, if you ever need gold for anything, find a mesa biome and find a mine shaft. You could easily get enough gold to do at least part of a beacon from these things. Now, other than a beacon, uh, right now, gold doesn't have much more of a use, but in the nether update, once that hits, I think gold will become pretty useful when it comes to the piglins, so you might want to stock up on the stuff if you're going to keep your world, but uh, it's going to be a long time until the nether update, so also, I wouldn't really worry about planning for that update quite yet. That would be... 
you'd be getting ahead of yourself a little bit. So, the dirt room and a creeper, you can stay away from me, sir. We don't really, we don't really hang out with your kind. Uh, more gold. Hey, that's pretty nice. Uh, the coal, we're gonna skip that for now. Uh, we'll come back, maybe? Or, or will we? Uh, the gold is what I'm talking about. Now, this mine shaft is generated kind of crazily, like... It's intersecting with itself in weird ways. It almost makes me think, yeah, I think we might have two mine shafts. We have a dirt room right there, and then we have what I think would be another dirt room right here, but I can't really tell. It just looks oddly square, so I'm, I'm not too sure. This might be two mine shafts intersecting, though, because these overlaps are so awkward and, and weird. It's It just doesn't really make a lot of sense. Not that they usually make too much sense, but I kind of think this is more than one mine shaft. And a chest of loot, probably the only one that we can take. What do we got? We got rails and melon seeds. That's cool. We'll take all of that stuff. That's always good to have. Now, I think, uh, based on our inventory here, it's kind of filling up. So, we might call it a day there. I'm hearing a lot of zombies back in there, so we'll have to come back later and investigate. But this is a pretty good find. We'll definitely absolutely be making uh, another portal out here maybe in one of the next few episodes because i think i think we're going to try and use sandstone in the build pallets like i talked about earlier and it would be really cool to incorporate terracotta as well because the blocks the, like this stuff is just beautiful so i'm going to go ahead and actually grab some of the orange stuff because i already have orange and then we're going to go ahead and keep exploring i think that's a better idea for today that was our plan anyways Hmm, so what is important here and what's not? The wheat, that can stay. The paper, I mean, I won't be expanding any more maps, I think, so that can stay. The melon seeds, those could probably stay as well. Uh, well, we'll trade the melon seeds for the extra bit of rails. Cartography table, for sure. The chest, for sure. And I think all of that other stuff, maybe we'll bring this in too, but the rest of that stuff and the gunpowder, that can wait there. Uh, I'm sorry, fishing rods, but I don't like you, and I don't really want them either, so we'll come back for them. I'll probably end up making a portal right there. I wrote down the coordinates, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll find it eventually. So now, let's go ahead and continue exploring a little bit more and see if we can find anything else cool, because we got really lucky with this area. This is awesome, but we just need to get... Okay, we are back on the map. Let's go ahead and, I think, explore this way for a little bit, uh, a little bit of time. Let's see how big this mesa biome really is. Oh, and you know, also generating within mesa biomes is all of this red, or is it called red, or is it, it's red sand, but it's orange. <laughs> it always confuses me, but the stuff is everywhere within that biome. You can turn that sand into red sandstone, which is kind of cool for building, but I've also really never used it, and oh... Wow, that is my favorite Battlelands biome variant, the the spikes. Wow, that's awesome. And we have a forest on the Badlands too. This place is pretty big. That's going to be really good for removing terracotta. And in fact, I think this is a better spot for a portal. So these coordinates are what I'm actually going to keep. And would you take a look at that? Another cave spider spawner, and it is in the clear open air. So wherever I heard that from definitely wrong that's uh yeah wow <laughs> that's awesome that's really cool and another mine shaft over there unless this is the same one but i kind of doubt that so it looks like this mesa biome gets pretty crazy like pretty unnatural and then it sort of blends back into a desert biome and i think i saw some yeah there is a savanna over here as well so that's good to know but it's also more of the same this world it, it's really cool but it seems like it's got a lot of desert and a lot of savanna. I guess we'll never end up running out of sand, which is good. Uh, but it's also... Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I like the desert, but it does get a little boring to look at sometimes. Now, I think the plan is to just finish off the bottom stripe of this map, meaning we'll go all the way to the corner, then we'll go up a little bit and turn back, and then probably make our way back to our base. Because if I were to actually find anything else cool, like a jungle or something then I just wouldn't have much space for anything. Uh, so we definitely should probably go back soon, unfortunately. And hey, speaking of cool, we have a desert village, but we're going to go to the corner first, and then we'll wrap back. We'll be walking right past it, right through it, actually, when we come back. So we'll check it out on the way back. And hey, some llamas too. Why are these llamas here? Does this really qualify as a mountain biome? Uh, no, this is a river. Ooh, do llamas really spawn in savannas? Uh, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Hi, llamas. We're at the edge now, and it looks like we have 
Just a bunch more desert and even a desert village over there, but not too curious about that desert village if I'm being honest. Usually the villages so far in this world don't have the best loot. We could definitely be missing out a little bit, but not really worried about it. Now, before Minecraft 1.14, I would always be checking the villages for mending villagers, but since we can change the librarian profession and basically, in a sense, spawn a mending villager, I'm not that worried about it because every villager is a mending villager if I want. Uh, why? Well, hello there, villager in the cool red clothes. How's it going? What do we got here? Don't worry about me. Just passing through. Just, you know, looking for the bell, of course. Uh, that's mine. It's always been mine. And uh, also looking for the loot, a brewing stand. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We'll, we'll let you keep that for now. I don't have any need for potions uh, this time, but it's his lucky day we'll say now thankfully i have enough wool from shearing sheep to mark this town so that's definitely going to be the plan we'll make a crafting table and probably just leave it here now that we'll actually ever come back but banner boom marked there we go now uh the loot where else is where's the where's the other loot anything good in the town actually doesn't really look like it melons but i already have melon seeds so not worried about those um you, what are you? What what job is this? Is this a leather worker guy? Uh, no, it's, it's an emerald. Uh, yeah, it is a leather worker. Emeralds are for me, though. Yeah, this looks like it's pretty much a town of small houses. Nothing, nothing else, really. So, not the most interesting town ever. I think it's time to keep moving and heading home. If we find anything else cool, I'll let you know. But I didn't really see anything, so I'm not counting on it. And what is going on here? This house is destroyed. A uh, yeah. Um, this is cursed, heavily cursed, um, insanely cursed. Is there any loot in here? Uh, no. That is cursed. Just a little bit of time later and we are back in the safety of our own base with a lot of loot to put away. So we'll start by putting the map up there and there. We actually explored quite a bit of land today. Now on the way back, I didn't find anything interesting at all. Just lots of savannah plateaus that were really, really difficult to scale, but I, I think soon we'll have to go explore this map. Now this is where I'd like to ask you guys a question. Would you like to see an exploration stream, or should exploration be saved for episodes? We could do something different and break up exploration in episodes, like maybe at the end of an episode we explore for a little bit, just like a small segment, uh, or we could just explore a bunch of land on stream and then I could recap it and maybe even go over to some of the cool things, but I, I don't know about that. There's a poll on screen now, so if you have an opinion, I would appreciate you voting in it. That would help me out for future episodes. Now, uh, all of the other loot, we really made out well this time with so, so many things. Now, uh, first we can put this table right back where it belongs. Then, uh, we need a little bit of leather. Uh, I guess this is the only leather. We'll use some of this for, of course, an item frame. Uh, we need a crafting table for an item frame, of course. That's always been the thing. So, item frame, and then, hmm. I think we could put it, ah, uh, yikes. Let's may eh, no, I don't know about that. Mm, where else could we put an item frame in here? It's kind of crowded. We can maybe put it up there. That could be kind of cool. Uh, of course, the item frame is for this map right there. That'll be stored there for now, and then eventually we'll come back to it and check it out. Is this upside down? Eh, no, I don't think so. Eh, these maps just always look so weird. Now, in terms of other loot, eh, this the inventory is what we got here. We have another bell. We have a couple emeralds, and then we have a lot of gold and a lot of other random blocks. Now, I really think that we're gonna need a storage room soon because this place is sort of overflowing with, with loot. It's, it's seriously kind of crazy. And we also can finally make a vine farm, which is really, really nice. But yeah, seriously, I think a storage building is gonna be on the way soon. Uh, we kind of really, really need it. Now, before we end today's episode, we have one final task. That task? enchanting we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a fortune three diamond pickaxe if we can't then we're not gonna enchant we're, we're just gonna do nothing with this pickaxe and save it but 
What do we got? Efficiency four. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not fortune three. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that there. Actually, let's go ahead and roll this enchantment over a few times. Uh, we have a couple levels of room just to see if we can get fortune three. Unbreaking three. That's still not it. So here we go. Roll it over another time. How about now? Efficiency four. Okay. Definitely not it. So let's go ahead and roll it one final time. And unbreaking three okay so it looks like we're not gonna have good luck today we'll have to come back to this project soon uh, i just have a lot of ore that i'd like to fortune and uh, we need a fortune pickaxe to do that so I, I guess that'll be a project for another time but that is it for episode 15 of the minecraft god i hope you guys enjoyed this one on the end screen i'll leave the previous episode and the playlist so you should check out the playlist if you ever missed an episode all the episodes are in order there so you can watch one after the other after the other uh but i try to make the episodes so if you miss one then it's not that big of a deal you can kind of just pick the series back up wherever if you can't get enough of the series, well, hey, I've got good news. I stream this world every single Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and it's really fun. If you haven't checked out the stream, you definitely should sometime. Today, I'd like to send a big special thank you to my patron, BrownBanana13. Thank you so much for the support, and thank you all for watching. As always, links in the description, like, subscribe, notifications, merch below the video too. It's Elite tier, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. It's me, Waddles. Stay cool.